Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, so last time I tricked you, you're very angry with me probably, because you're like, we learned about the average of function, but it didn't actually fix our error problem. I mean, it only fixes it if you have one type of error. If you have two, you need the average ifs function. Notice the s there, ifs function. So the average ifs function will check multiple different criteria. So um, first you select the range you want to average. Um, and then the range you're going to check first and the criteria range you're going to check second and the criteria range you're going to check third and the criterion. In this case, it's not optional. You have to use all these. And you can stop after one. You only have to check, you know, one criteria. However, you have to include the range to average and the range to check every single time, even if they're the same. Okay. So once again, we're going to try this. This time, average only the expenses that are less than 500 and belong to Sally because maybe she's supposed to pay those. All the rest paid by business, everything else paid by Sally. Okay, so if we want that, we type in equals average, can't spell, there we go. Average ifs and then the average range. I'm only averaging the expenses, not checking those yet. Okay, now what am I checking? Well, less than 500, so the first thing I'll check is this range. Is it less than 500? And then my criteria. Criteria always in quotes for this. So less than 500. And then I have to choose a second range. This is optional. I don't have to do this one. But for this problem, I would need to. So I'm going to check all the names. And I want to see, are they equal to Sally? So I want to go ahead and say, type in equals Sally here. Okay, with that, I have enough. I just close it and I hit enter. And $325.78. I could do that, but it would take a little bit longer than normal to try to do it in my head. So you can test it on your own dime. <laughs> okay, so let's keep on going. So that's the average ifs. I checked two criteria to solve a problem. Okay. So let's try it again. This time though, we're gonna see expenses that are greater than 200 and less than 600, but these are for everybody. Um, very similar. We're just gonna be checking this column twice. You can check the same column twice, twice if you need to. So average ifs, average range, once again, the expenses. And then I'm going to criteria range one. It's the same thing. You know, that first one is just what you're averaging. It does not check for the criteria there. You have to select the same place again in this case. And then what's my criteria? Well, more than 200. Okay, that works. And then same exact place again, just selecting the same cells over and over again, and less than 600. And that'll be it. Hit enter, and we're good. So it's working. It's not a very complex process, um, but it does require you that you be very careful with how you write out those conditions. Be very careful with them because more than equal to will sometimes give you a different result than more than because the equal to will include one extra value. So remember that, be careful, keep on going. Okay, now finally, redemption. Let's go back to that previous problem and fix it with average ifs. We can do it, I believe in ourselves. I believe in ourselves? Eh, I believe in us, we can do it. Okay, now you're all gonna hate me as soon as we fix this because there's an easy way to do it. Um, but I didn't tell you that because I had to get a good excuse to teach you average if and average ifs. Don't hate me, I'm your teacher, I try my best. Okay, so first off, the average range, this one right here, and then the criteria range one, I'm checking this guy and saying, okay. And does that should be not equal to, Hashtag div dash zero exclamation point. Okay, that's my first condition. I check it again. And the criteria is not equal to hashtag name question mark. Close it, enter, and it works. Now I'm going to copy and paste this across because it's very similar. I just have to change one little detail each time. Okay, and so instead of um, name, it's going to be ref exclamation point this time. I can't actually see it because of my big head in the way. 
Okay. Ref exclamation point. Okay, that one's good. And then this one right here, instead of name, it's going to be hashtag in divided by A. A. Boom. Okay, now here's why you're gonna hate me because there was an easier way. Um, all you had to do is you literally stick an if function inside of your average function. You're like, you can do that? You can, you totally can. Um, so what this is saying is that if you stick an if function in that initial selection, it will only choose those numbers that are actually the right ones. You're like, okay, I'm still pretty confused here. That's okay, this is a little bit more advanced. Let's type it out and see if it makes more sense then. So equals average, and then inside of the average function, I put an if function. And that if function is going to look at each of these and say, is it a number? Is number, that's a function that's built into here. And I select all of these. Now, the first thing that you have to realize is that is number is checking like is checking 10 cells. Since it's checking 10 cells, it will output 10 answers. Um, true, false, true, true, false, whatever. It'll output all of those. Now, if it's true, what do you want it to give you? You want it to give that particular cell, so we just give the entire selection again. And so it's gonna start at the beginning, it's gonna kind of iterate through here like a loop. Start the first one and work its way down. If it's true, it'll output that value. If it's false, it'll put out false, but we won't see it because it's an average function. And average functions to, um, treat false as zero or as just blank. And I close it all out, hit enter, and it works. Um, I know you're like, oh, why did we learn about average if, average ifs? Um, it's another way of doing this. Um, sometimes this is better, sometimes average ifs is better. It really will depend on what you're doing. In this case, it works very well. Other cases, it won't work so well. Well, I hope this helps you. Next time we finally get into the median and mode and learn more about statistics. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.